Dark Sisters is a relatively new American opera by composer Nico Muley, who has subsequently had uh, several operas produced at the Metropolitan Opera. Uh, you know, so he went on to great success. This was his first opera, Dark Sisters. And the librettist is an award-winning playwright, Stephen Karam. He's a playwright and a screenwriter. He has uh, won a Tony Award and was also a Pulitzer Prize nominee. So, that, you know, pretty, uh, two really fantastic uh, collaborators coming together to create uh, a, a really exciting and relevant dramatic piece. The work was co-commissioned by Gotham Chamber Opera, Music Theater Group, and Opera Company of Philadelphia, and it premiered in 2011. The story is based on the lives of women of the FLDS Church. The, the FLDS Church is the fundamentalist church of Latter-day Saints. This is an offshoot of the Mormon religion, specifically an offshoot that practices polygamy, plural marriage, which is illegal in the United States. However, this is, there are, uh, there still are whole communities that uh, separated from Mormonism to maintain these communities that are completely based on plural marriage. And they follow the guidance of one leader, a sole religious leader, who is known as the prophet. The Opera Dark Sisters is based on the events of a 2008 raid. The state of Texas came into the Yearning for Zion Ranch uh, and uh, took out over 400 children because to protect them from, uh, from abuse, from sexual abuse because it was, it was learned, it was widely assumed, but then confirmed that um, many, many underage girls, girls as young as 13, 13, 14, 15, were being married to uh, significantly older men, to adult men. So over 400 children being removed from their homes. It completely disrupted uh, uh, so many families. And this opera focuses on the wives, the mothers of those of the children. It's the night after children have been taken out of the ranch. And it's, so it's the aftermath of that raid. We want to ensure that DePaul students have the opportunity to experience works by living composers. 21st century music can be extraordinarily challenging, both dramatically and musically. So we want to make sure that our students have the chance to learn and perform these works. It's very important to me, to our cast, and to our incredible all-woman design team that we are telling the story of the lives of these women with incredible sympathy, empathy, and care. Uh, an important part of that has been extensive research by our uh, creative team and also importantly, by our student cast into the lives of these women, reading first-person accounts, watching documentaries, and uh, that we're really creating a connection uh, between our audience and a window into the, what, these, what these women have experienced, both in their past and then what the future may hold for some of them. Our audiences are in for a real treat because not only is Dark Sisters very musically exciting and dramatically exciting, the visual world that we're creating to tell this story through our very stylized scenic world by our scene designer, Eleanor Kahn, 
we're conjuring this, the red rocks of the Texas desert, these steep red rocked canyon walls in a very stylized way. Uh, additionally, our projection designs by Hilary Laban conjure both the mystique of the natural world of the Texas desert, the uh, beautiful night skies. Our show begins with a lunar eclipse, um, uh, as well as the modern media landscape when in the second act our, our uh, heroines are interviewed by a, a media celebrity, let's say. Dark Sisters is a story about faith, family, and forging a future when everything that you think you knew has been transformed. It's been truly inspiring to me, to our cast and our creative team, to learn about the lives of these incredibly brave women who have chosen to challenge their traditions of their faith and to find faith in a new way on their own.